Buying a home can feel like navigating uncharted waters. Redfin agents can help. They'll answer your questions with honest advice so you know exactly what you're getting into. They'll also help you tour as many homes as you want and show you what it takes to make a winning offer. With a Redfin agent on your side, you can sail straight to your dream home. Local expertise from Redfin. That's real estate done right. Tour subject to property and agent availability. Virginia Office Falls Church, VA. 844-759-7732. Celebrate this July 4th with a special presentation of A Capital Fourth. Join your host, Vanessa Williams, with performances from Sea to Shining Sea, starring Jimmy Buffett, Gladys Knight, Alan Jackson, Cynthia Erivo, Pentatonix, Renee Fleming, Train, Jennifer Nettles, Mickey Guyton, Jimmy Allen, Ali'i Cravalho, Laura Osnes, Ali Stroker, and the greatest live fireworks display in the USA. It's a Capital Fourth, sponsored by the Boeing Company and American Airlines, Sunday, July 4th, 8, 7 Central, only on PBS. Andy, listen, the man is just about to say it. Yeah, let's everybody listen. The USA Radio Network presents the greatest radio programs of all time. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother. The CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. This is classic radio theater. Want to get away from it all? The FBI in peace and war. Fibber, McGee, and Molly. The The unexpected. The unexpected. The unexpected. Now here's your host, Wyatt Cox. Good evening, friends. The first lady of suspense, Agnes Moorhead, in an episode of the program from uh, 64 years ago, June 30th, 1957, The Yellow Wallpaper. And we thank you for tuning in. On this Wednesday, hump day, 30th day of June, 181st day of 2021, 184 days until we get to 2022. French acrobat Charles Blondin walked across Niagara Falls on a tightrope on this date in 1859. He also went by the name Jean-Francois Gravelet. A powerful natural explosion from an unknown cause rocked the Tusunga Basin in eastern Siberia on this date in 1908, flattening hundreds of square miles of forest and resulting in tremors that could be felt hundreds of miles away. What caused the explosion in 1908? We don't know. Lots of speculation that it might be an exploding uh, meteorite, that it could be something else. Nobody really knows. Uh, President Harding appointed former President William H. Taft Chief Justice of the United States on this date in 1921. In 1934, Adolf Hitler secured his position in the Nazi Party by a blood purge, ridding the party of other leaders such as Ernst Rohheim and Kurt von Schlichter. In 1936, Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind published. Fred, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. In spite of language which was considered scandalous at the time, Gone with the Wind, an amazing uh, book and motion picture, published on this date in 1936. President Truman ordered U.S. ground forces into the Korean conflict on this date in 1950. And in 1953, the first production Corvette built at the General Motors facility in Flint, Michigan. They call her Corvette. And she belongs to the highway, just for the sheer and simple joy of driving, for the open road and the country byway, for Mr. and Mrs. America in a carefree mood. Boy, what a car. The first host of the Today Show, Dave Garraway, in a 1954 commercial for the Corvette. The uh, 26th Amendment, which lowered the voting age to 18, ratified by the U.S. states on this date in 1971. Some 11 million young men and women who have participated in the life of our nation through their work, their studies, and their sacrifices for its defense are now to be fully included in the electoral process. For more than 20 years, I have advocated the 18-year-old vote 
I heartily congratulate our young citizens on having gained this right. President Nixon congratulating the newly franchised voters. In 1985, President Reagan announced the release of American hostages from Lebanon. The 39 Americans held hostage for 17 days by terrorists in Lebanon are free, safe, and at this moment on their way to Frankfurt, Germany. They'll be home again soon. The president added the U.S. would fight back against terrorists for attacks on American citizens and property. In 1998, the remains of a Vietnam War serviceman buried in the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers identified as those of Air Force pilot Michael J. Blassie. In 1913, 19 firefighters died controlling a wildfire in Yarnell, Arizona. And it was two years ago today, President Trump became the first sitting president to visit the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Among those passing away on this date in history, a name you might not know, James Dewar. He invented the Twinkie. As America's favorite snack cake, the Twinkie stands alone. Twinkie! Sweet sensation! Yes, the Twinkie. The inventor of which James Dewar passed away on this date in 1985, also passing away on this date, a man instrumental in broadcasting, inventor Lee DeForest, uh, Spanky McFarland of the R Gang comedies, the very delightful Gail Gordon, uh, radio and television great, Phyllis Hyman, jazz vocalist, country guitar player, producer Chet Atkins, saxophonist Joe Henderson, and the very, very delightful, funny Buddy Hackett. Two pro wrestlers born on this day who are no longer with us, Man Mountain Dean and Strangler Lewis. Also born on this date, actress Susan Hayward, actress-singer Lena Horne, magician Harry Blackstone, and the Supremes Florence Ballard. This is birthday number 85 for Ted Wipes, uh, Ted Knight's wife in Too Close for Comfort, Nancy Dussault. Also another pro wrestler. Got a couple of them on the list today. Uh, Terry Funk turns 77. We wish him the best. His health has not been the best. And also I might as well mention uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, the son of the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, who is not only a wrestler but executive vice president of All Elite Wrestling. Uh, From Married with Children, Steve Rhodes, David Allen Greer, 66, from Men in Black and Full Metal Jacket, Vincent D'Onfrio, uh, 62 years of age. Mike Tyson turns 55 today. Can you believe it? From Patch Adams, Saw, and Head Over Heels, Monica Potter, 50 years old. And one more wrestler who we haven't seen for a while, Alicia Fox, 35 years of age. Those are just a few of the people who celebrate the 30th day of June as their birthday. And if this happens to be your birthday... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Mrs. Miller. From 64 years ago today, June 30th, 1957, Suspense, Agnes Moorhead starring in The Yellow Wallpaper. On this Wednesday, Classic Radio Theater on your favorite station. You know, if you feel like you're stuck with a health care plan that isn't affordable or you simply don't like it, right now is a great time to switch to MediShare. The typical family saves $500 a month when they join MediShare, and what's more, they like it. MediShare has double the customer satisfaction rate compared to the typical health insurance plan. That's double. So you get a massive network of providers to choose from. You get telehealth services. And MediShare is the most trusted name in healthcare sharing. It's been around for more than 25 years, shared more than $4 billion in healthcare bills. Here's why now really is the time to make the switch, too. You can start saving each month, which is huge, but right now they'll waive your joining fee. So you'll save another $170 right off the bat. But again, it's a limited time offer. You got to call now. And it only takes two minutes to find out how much you'd save by switching. Here's the number 833 34Bible. That's 833 34Bible. 833 34Bible. 
classic radio theater friends, my feet always hurt. They really do. And if your feet hurt, can I make a suggestion to try Mike Lindell's My Slippers? They are probably the most comfortable things I've had on my feet in years. But they're more than just a bedroom slipper, an indoor-outdoor slipper with three-tiered cushioning system that combines two layers of this foam with a patented impact gel to keep you from ever wanting to take them off. They're beautifully finished with leather suede faux fur linings indoor outdoor so you can wear them anywhere and mike guarantees these will be the most comfortable things you'll ever put on your feet or you'll get your money back 60 day money back guarantee one year limited warranty you can save 40 percent when you go to mypillow.com click on the radio listener square use my promo code usa or call 1-800-951-8175 mike lindell's my slippers will be the best thing you ever put on your feet or you'll get your money back America is under attack, and we need you to take action now. Our history, culture, constitution, and the American way of life are being assaulted. Violent anarchists are rioting and looting in cities across the country. They are demanding the defunding of our police and an end to law and order. There has never been a more critical time to defend our right to keep and bear arms. The Second Amendment Foundation created the Second Amendment First Responders Program. This program seeks to actively engage Americans who want to protect our Second Amendment rights. Please text PROTECT. 2A to 474747 and become a Second Amendment first responder. Now is the time to defend our right to keep and bear arms. Text PROTECT 2A to 474747. Again, text PROTECT 2A to 474747. Now is the time to defend our right to keep and bear arms. Text PROTECT 2A to 474747. Fracture prints your digital photos directly onto glass, making your favorite moments come alive in vivid color. Hand assembled in the USA, Fracture glass prints are a unique and beautiful way to display and share your favorite moments. Simply upload your photo at FractureMe.com, select your size, and your glass print will be shipped to you, ready to hang with just one screw. Use code POD15 to get 15% off your order today. That's code POD15 at FractureMe.com. Peacock fuels your true crime obsession with exclusive new originals like John Wayne Gacy, Devil in Disguise. He said to me, clowns can get away with murder. Dr. Death, the undoctored story. This guy's dangerous. And Epstein's shadow, Ghislaine Maxwell. She inherited Jeffrey Epstein's secrets. There was this whole other world going on. Plus the most bingeable crime series, Buried in the Backyard and Snapped. And with the Dateline 24-7 channel that's always on. Did you want her death? You can't not obsess. Sign up now at PeacockTV.com. Thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday edition of Classic Radio Theater. Agnes Moorhead certainly earned her title as the First Lady of Suspense. In addition to her eight performances in Sorry Wrong Number, uh, dating from the first performance in uh, May 25th, 1943, to the final performance in in February 14th of 1960, Sorry, Wrong Number earned her a great reputation. But not only that, she performed an additional 25 times on Suspense, including the program you're going to hear today, an episode entitled The Yellow Wallpaper. This was not her first time with this script of The Yellow Wallpaper. It was originally broadcast uh, on Suspense in uh, July 29th, 1948. And uh, basically the same script, a little tightened up. And, you know, they had a little different sound. But, even, you know, nine years. Radio changed quite a bit in those nine years. And so we will hear that today. But Agnes Moorhead, uh, going all the way back to her work with Orson Welles in the Mercury Theater and her work uh, later in television. I think most everybody who listens to this program knows that probably the role for which she has the most fame outside of uh, suspense was her role on the uh, situation comedy Bewitched as uh, uh, Samantha Stevens' uh, mother in Dora. And, you know, comedy, probably not the way she wanted to be remembered, but I have to tell you, she was a wonderful actress. And she played these over-the-top roles 
with such panache and did them so very well. And that's what you're going to hear today. Agnes Moorhead and a woman who goes mad because of the yellow wallpaper. An episode of Suspense going back 64 years, June 30th, 1957. Suspense. And the producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. It has been more than 60 years since a New England lady named Charlotte Perkins Gilman wrote a story called The Yellow Wallpaper. Since then, this tale of almost unbearable horror has firmly established itself as one of American literature's greatest tales of terror, ranked by the aficionados of the macabre, along with the telltale heart and the pit and the pendulum of Edgar Allan Poe. When you combine such a great story with the great talent of the first lady of suspense, Miss Agnes Moorhead, you may be sure of an uneasy and unsettling half hour. Turn down the lights then and listen. Turn down the lights so you can't see the pattern of your wallpaper as Agnes Moorhead stars in the yellow wallpaper. And now... Miss Agnes Moorhead in the yellow wallpaper. A tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. I've never seen a worse wallpaper in my life. All those strangled heads and bulbous eyes and fungus growths seem to shriek with derision. When we came to this house, the minute I saw it, I made up my mind secretly to start writing again in spite of them. But I don't dare let John know I'm keeping this journal. It's difficult being married to a doctor. John's an excellent doctor, I'm sure, but he's so inconsistent about me. He says I'm not really sick, that I'm only a little run down from caring for the baby, that I have a temporary nervous depression, and so he forbids me to write a word. But writing is such a relief to my mind. I can write down things, tell things here that... No, John says I'm not to brood about those things. I confess they make me feel badly, so I'll only write about the house. I saw it for the first time today, the most beautiful place. John rented it for the summer, and we drove up today, a perfect June morning. The bay and the white sails and people already in swimming. And then the shaded lane and the old-fashioned flower garden and the gnarly trees and the house... The house standing alone in the summer stillness. I could never tell John. But you know the house spoke to me. It was only because he rattled on so that I couldn't hear what it said. Reminded me of those English places you read about. And at only 200 a month. Gardener's cottage and everything. Hedges and walls and gates that lock. And there's a ghostliness. Remember, I rented it just for you. And you're going to let Jenny do all the work. While you live the life of Riley. Do you like it, darling? Do you? Yes. Yes, it's lovely, but strange as though it might be haunted. Darling, (laughs) you've got that look on your face again, that dopey look. Well, Jenny's home. There's a station wagon. And if I know my dear sister, she's already turned the place inside out and cleaned it top to bottom. John, is it haunted, do you think? What? The house? Yes. At 200 a month? (laughs) That's asking too much of faith. Come on. Hop out. Then why is it rented so cheaply? And why hasn't anyone lived in it for such a long time? I'd call it luck if I believed in luck. There is something strange about the house. I feel it. Now, stop imagining things. I'm not imagining. One reason I don't get well is that you don't believe me. You don't even believe I'm sick. You tell my friends and relatives, I've heard you, that there's nothing wrong with me. There isn't. Anything wrong with you? Oh, John. I'm sorry. Don't cry. Come along. Let's go inside. So I came into this house in tears. It was wrong. It was all wrong. Maybe the house saw me crying. Or this room. I got so unreasonably angry with John. I shouldn't, I know. He's so careful. 
and loving, and I repay him so badly. I should control myself, at least in front of him. But it makes me so tired not to show what I feel. My sister-in-law, Jenny, met us at the door. Naturally, she saw I'd been crying, but she took pains to ignore it. Well, hello. You two are early. You must have started at the crack of dawn. How was the trip? Made it in less than two hours. They are like a peas in a pod, Jenny and John, both efficient and kind. How did you bear up, pet? Very well, thank you, Jenny. I must say you look very well. Both kind and both somehow cruel, but I don't really think that. You're in time for lunch. I bought a flounder down at the wharf and cooked it with capers and cream. Sound good? Wonderful, Jenny. May I see the house first? The whole grand tour. Pet, the flounder will be cooked to death. Well... At least my room. Our room. All right, if you insist. With the vicious world, don't blame me. Why would I blame her? Whose room is this, Jenny? Yours? Yes. It's small, but it's near the door and the telephone. Oh, John. John, look, let's take this one for you and me. I love those roses over the window. I've already put your things upstairs, Pet. A little porch and such pretty old-fashioned chintz hanging. You like the room upstairs. You can see there's not room for two beds. And I won't hear of being in separate rooms. John, John and I talked it over. The room at the top of the house has so many windows. And you must absorb lots of fresh air, darling, to get back your appetite. They smother me with concern. They crush me with kindness. Come along, there's a good girl. All right. You know what's best. Oh, you'll like the nursery. It's got loads of sunshine. Up the steep, narrow stairs. Two stories up to the very top of the house. I told myself over and over I mustn't be angry. They mean so well for me. But I'm not to have thoughts or feelings, likes or dislikes. I'm to do what they say because they know what's best. I'm not to cry. I'm not to have dreams or fancies. Up, Up the steep, winding stairs to the top. There's a gate at the top that locks. I wonder why. And beyond the gate is the nursery room. This room. It is big and airy. Nearly a whole floor with windows that look every way. They say it was a nursery. But what was it? Really? Open the mall, Jenny. Why? Well, darling? Why are the windows barred? Well, that's for little children, otherwise it wouldn't be safe. Yes. Children climb around so, don't they? What? What are those rings and things in the wall? Oh? Oh, I expect they made it into a gymnasium when the children were older. A sort of playroom. How they must have hated the wallpaper. <laughs> they were rough on it, that's for sure. The way they've torn it off in patches. I don't blame them. It's Oh, who wants to look at wallpaper with this view? You can see the whole bay. It's a revolting color. It's unclean. It's such a... Such a thickish yellow there where the sun faded in. Now, now, darling, you must be hungry. I, I know you're tired. I'm not tired. Why do you both act this way? I say the wallpaper's ugly and you look at each other. Your eyes shuffle back and forth and suddenly you both act as though I'd lost my... Darling! Life. That was something we weren't going to say. Be a good girl, Pep. We don't act anyway. We only want you not to worry. We want you to be well. It's true. That's all they want. John laughs at me, of course, but one expects that in marriage. And he says I have foolish fancies. And he sometimes can talk them away, but... Not this time. No matter what he says. It's a smoldering, sulfurous, unclean, hideous wallpaper. No wonder the children scratched at it and stripped it down. No wonder they gouged the plaster with their little fingernails. No wonder they hated it. I hate it myself. Somehow I feel... It hates me. In just a moment, we continue with Suspense. 
While we know Agnes Moorhead for her massive roles in suspense, while we know her as Endora, what a lot of people may not be aware of, she gained four Academy Award nominations for Best Supporting Actress in The Magnificent Ambersons in 1942, Mrs. Parkington in 1944, Johnny Belinda in 1948, and the 1964 Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. Uh, and, and, you know, she was also in Citizen Kane, so many other things. Uh, suspense. June 30th, 1957. The news from that date 64 years ago when Classic Radio Theater continues in just a few moments here on your favorite station. Fracture prints your digital photos directly onto glass, making your favorite moments come alive in vivid color. Hand assembled in the USA, Fracture glass prints are a unique and beautiful way to display and share your favorite moments. Simply upload your photo at FractureMe.com, select your size, and your glass print will be shipped to you, ready to hang with just one screw. Use code POD15 to get 15% off your order today. That's code POD15 at FractureMe.com. The been thinking about McDonald's all day. Can't get it off my mind. I can already taste it. Ooh, got my mind on my mouth and my mouth ready for some Mickey D's deal. There's a deal for every moment at McDonald's. Right now, get two of your favorites for just $3.50. Mix and match a classic McChicken, a hot and spicy McChicken, or a juicy McDouble. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Single item at regular price. Peacock fuels your true crime obsession with exclusive new originals like John Wayne Gacy, Devil in Disguise. He said to me, clowns can get away with murder. Dr. Death, The Undoctored Story. This guy's dangerous. And Epstein's shadow, Ghislaine Maxwell. She inherited Jeffrey Epstein's secrets. There was this whole other world going on. Plus the most bingeable crime series, Buried in the Backyard and Snapped. And with the Dateline 24-7 channel that's always on. Did you want her death? You can't not obsess. Sign up now at PeacockTV.com. Classic Radio Theater friends and family, you've heard me talking about the My Pillow Premium Pillow Special, which continues now. Uh, you, if, as at least at the moment, uh, you go and click on the Radio Listener Square and use my promo code USA, and you'll get a My Pillow Premium Pillow at sixty dollars off, twenty nine ninety five for standard or queen size kings, or five dollars more. But let me tell you just a moment about what I enjoy. When I lay down on my bed, it takes me next to no time to go to sleep. And that's because I have a my pillow not just for my head, but for the rest of my body with my my pillow mattress topper. You know, why spend thousands of dollars uh, for a brand new mattress when just for a uh, a fraction of that, you can get a My Pillow mattress topper. It's an exclusive three-layer design with a, a layer of My Pillow foam for support, a layer of transitional foam to help relieve pressure points, and an ultra soft patented temperature relieving cover. Ten-year warranty cover that's washable and dryable, made in the USA. It is backed by Mike's 60-day money-back guarantee. You don't like it? Send it back. You get your money back. You can save 30% when you use my promo code USA or call 1-800-951-8175. And Mike will give you two standard my pillows absolutely free. That's promo code USA or call 1-800-951-8175. Use my promo code USA. That promo code will save you up to 66% on the entire line of my pillow products. Easiest thing, go to MyPillow.com, click on the radio listener square, use my promo code USA. That's the best way to get a great deal of savings on MyPillow products. No one really tries to be unsafe online. Enter a dress for free tater tots. But every time you give up info and privacy... So I gave your birth date for free parking. That's how I got this robe. You may give up some safety too. Norton 360 with LifeLock has device security, a VPN for online privacy, and identity theft protection, all in one. No one can prevent all cybercrime or identity theft, but you can save 25% or more off your first year. Opt into cyber safety at norton.com slash news. The been thinking about McDonald's all day. Can't get it off my mind. I can already taste it. Ooh, got my mind on my mouth and my mouth ready for some Mickey D's deal. 
There's a deal for every moment at McDonald's. Right now, get two of your favorites for just $3.50. Mix and match a classic McChicken, a hot and spicy McChicken, or a juicy McDouble. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Single item at regular price. A message from Virginia's Department of Health. If you're like most people, you're ready for things to get back to normal. But the COVID-19 virus is changing, and new variants are in our communities. So if you're not fully vaccinated, don't let your guard down. Continue to wear a layered mask and stay six feet from others. Find your free COVID-19 vaccine today. Learn more at vdh.virginia.gov or 877-829-4682. And you're listening to Classic Radio Theater on this Wednesday on your favorite station. An episode of Suspense, The Yellow Wallpaper, starring Agnes Moorhead, as it was broadcast Sunday, June 30th, 1957. In the newspapers of that Sunday 64 years ago, these were some of the headlines. Army Colonel John C. Nickerson yesterday fined $1,500 for a bidden exercise command for one year and reprimanded for leaking secret defense data. Under this sentence by a 10-man court-martial, the guided missile expert can bind to administrative duties and theoretically can't even tell a private what to do. The court-martial panel, which could have dismissed him from the service and jailed the 41-year-old West Pointer for 30 years, required only 43 minutes to reach its verdict. Demolished and torn asunder by Hurricane Audrey and her vicious tidal waves, Louisiana's Gulf Coast gave up its tragic dead and terror-stricken survivors yesterday to an army of merciful rescue teams, not for more than a week and perhaps never will the exact toll of dead from 1957's first hurricane be known, but the number of victims from this twin assault of Mother Nature seems almost certain to climb to more than 200. Many bodies believed to have been washed out to sea by receding tides. Senator McClellan, the Democrat from Arkansas, says a blacklisted government contractor sold 350 reconditioned M8 armory combat vehicles to France last year for use against Algerian rebels. The State and Defense Department let it happen, he said, and has said an investigating subcommittee plans full-scale public hearings to demand an explanation from top officials. Senator Potter, the Republican from Michigan, urged fast congressional footwork yesterday on legislation to protect FBI files against the Supreme Court decision, which he said makes life 100 percent easier for traitors and subversives. Fast footwork is just what Congress has in mind to meet what Attorney General Brownell has called a grave emergency in law enforcement. Congress working on legislation to restrict the kind of information the FBI and other government investigating agencies can be required to produce in criminal trials. The aim is to rush it through before a filibuster on civil rights legislation ties up the Senate. The Democrat from Louisiana, Alan J. Ellender, yesterday accused President Eisenhower of downright hypocrisy in advocating pending civil rights legislation while saying he favors states' rights. Uh, The Democrat urging the president to withdraw his support from the administration's civil rights program said Eisenhower has an opportunity to prove to the nation that he means what he preaches and, most importantly, that he will not yield up his announced principle in favor of political expedience. And those some of the day's top news stories as reported in the newspapers of Sunday, June 30th, 1957, on your radio, Suspense, which continues now on Classic Radio Theater. And now, we continue with the second act of The Yellow Wallpaper, starring Miss Agnes Moorhead. A tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. We've been here two weeks, and I haven't felt like writing again since that first day. I'm sitting up by the window now, in this frightful nursery room. There's nothing to stop my writing as much as I please. John is away all day, and sometimes even at night if he has a serious case. I'm glad my case is not serious. These nervous troubles can be depressing all the same. John doesn't know how much I suffer. 
He knows there's no reason to suffer, and that satisfies him. I suppose John is never nervous in his life. He laughs at me so about this wallpaper. <laughs> no, I won't let you have your way, you silly goose. If we take in the room downstairs, you'd be seeing faces in the chin straits. Not faces, John. Look at that spot. And, and that one over there. Yes, I see. It's a recurring pattern. It's a broken neck with two bulging eyes staring at me upside down. <laughs> and to me, it's climbing ivy or some kind of vine. Take your choice. It could be anything. It's the everlastingness. Up and down. Climbing up and down. Sideways. Crawling. Crawling and everywhere those unblinking eyes. Now you must try to rid your mind of such nonsense. You simply must. All right, John, I'll try. After all, it's only in certain lights when I look at the wallpaper from the bed that I see... See what? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, John. No, you're... You're right. There's nothing except a pattern. A front pattern. And an under pattern in a different shade of yellow. It dwells in my mind so. I lie on that great immovable bed. It's nailed down. And follow the pattern about by the hour. And then where it isn't faded and when the sun is just so, I see... See a strange, faint, formless sort of figure lurking, waiting behind that front design. There are things in that wallpaper that nobody knows but me. You know, there's a woman stooping down and creeping about behind that pattern. Last night, it was moonlight. And the moon shines in all around, just as the sun does. And John was asleep, and I hated to waken him, so I kept still and watched the moonlight on the wall until the figure behind began to shake the pattern as if she wanted to get out. I got up softly and went and felt the paper to see if it did move. It moved. I'm sure of it. And the woman cried out as though her voice came a long way over water. Let it go. Let me go. Let it go. Let me go. When I went back to the bed, John was awake. What is it? Huh? Why are you up? Don't go walking around like that. You'll catch cold. Well, the moonlight woke me. Well, you are cold. You're shivering. John, I'm not really getting better. Won't you take me away? I don't see how we can leave before our lease is up. Of course, if you were in any danger, I would. But you really are better, dear, whether you see it or not. I'm a doctor, and I know. My appetite may be better in the evening when you're here, but it's worse in the morning when you're gone. You're gaining weight, and your color is better. I don't weigh a bit more, not even as much. Nonsense. You're getting better, I tell you. Better in body, perhaps, but in mind. Darling. Not... <laughs> for my sake, and your sake, and for the sake of our child, I beg you not to let that idea enter your head, not for one instant. But can't you trust me as a doctor when I tell you it's a false and foolish idea? Answer me, darling. Don't you trust me? Yes. Of course I trust you only. Only what? Oh, nothing. I'm sleepy. Let's go to sleep. But I didn't sleep. I lay there for hours trying to decide if the front pattern and the back pattern moved together. Or separately. No, there's no question about it. In the moonlight, the front pattern becomes bars. The outside pattern, I mean. And the woman behind it shakes the bars as she creeps around. June 30th, 1957. Suspense. Agnes Moorhead in the yellow wallpaper. The conclusion next on Classic Radio Theater. Friends Laura Leibowitz at the International Jack Benny Fan Club is conducting a fundraiser to purchase the Maxwell that Jack wrote in many movies 
for the fan club. Now, the International Jack Benny Fan Club is a 501c3 not-for-profit. Your donations are tax-deductible. Help preserve a slice of Jack Benny history by going online to their website, jackbenny.org. That's jackbenny.org. And help preserve the real-life Maxwell. If you enjoy our Classic Radio Theater broadcasts and want to start building a collection of your own, go to ClassicRadio.stream. That's ClassicRadio.stream. There you'll find links to great classic radio collections on CD, along with links to great reading on Classic Radio Plus, Classic Radio Theater On Demand. Check out our webpage, available now at ClassicRadio.stream. That's ClassicRadio.stream. And enjoy. Is it time for a new heating and cooling system? Turn to the experts at Griffith Energy Services and Carrier today and get 0% financing for 18 months on a new heating and cooling system. Get the comfort you deserve from Griffith Energy Services and Carrier. Visit GriffithEnergyServices.com today for this and other exclusive offers. That's GriffithEnergyServices.com. License number MDHVACR01-2278. Griffith Energy Services. Doggone dependable. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. You've got to remember to do your testing, and you always need to be sticking your fingers. The new way to live your life with diabetes is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body, and it continuously monitors your glucose levels, helping you spend more time in range and freeing you from painful finger pricks. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicaid, Care, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call U.S. Medical Supply today for a free benefits check. We offer free shipping, 90-day supplies, and we bill Medicare or your insurance directly. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-495-4632. 800-495-4632. 800-495-4632. That's 800-495-4632. My doctor prescribed me Viagra. It wasn't covered by my insurance, so it was costing me like $65 a pill. That's expensive. Over 20 million guys like us use Viagra. Over a certain age, we just need it. I found a way to pay less than $3 a pill and get virtually the same effect of the $65 pill. I heard an ad just like this on the radio called, and for $99, I got 40 generic versions of the $65 pill. Save yourself money and call right now. And get over 40 pills for $99. There's no embarrassment here to use Viagra. If we're over 50, we need it. But not at high prices. Call now with your credit card and get the 40 pill special for just $99. 800-814-5031. 800-814-5031. 800-814-5031. That's 800-814-5031. Climate change, public health, economic shifts, and social inequality. We face grand challenges in these areas and more. Join us on Access to Excellence, the podcast where George Mason University's thought leaders explore global issues and the paths forward. Podcast.gmu.edu. Thursday's classic radio theater western adventure, Raymond Burr, Fort Laramie, from 65 years ago, June, July 1st, 1956, The Trooper's Widow. But now the conclusion of suspense from 64 years ago, June 30th, 1957, Agnes Moorhead, The Yellow Wallpaper. I like this room now. And life is much more exciting than it used to be. I have something more to expect, to look forward to, to watch. And I really do eat better and I'm quieter than I was. John is pleased to see me improve. <laughs> you see, you're flourishing like a weed in spite of your wallpaper. Yes, yes, in spite of the wallpaper. In spite of it. Because of it. But I had no intention of telling him that. He might want to take me away. And I don't want to leave now until I found out. a very funny mark on the wall low down near the mop board. A streak that runs around the room. It goes behind every piece of furniture except the bed. A long, straight, even smudge as if it had been rubbed over and over. 
how was it done? Who did it? What did they do it for? Round and round. Round and round. Round makes me dizzy. I really discovered something at last. There are a great many women behind the pattern and sometimes only one. And she creeps around fast. And her creeping shakes the pattern. She's trying to climb through and can't because the pattern strangles everything. But she does get out in the daytime. I know because I've seen her. When a car comes, she hides in the blackberry vines. I'd hide too. I always lock the door when I creep by daylight. There are only two days left to tear the paper off and let the woman out into the room. The charm's beginning to take notice. I don't like the look in his eyes or the way he talks with Jenny about me. I overheard them. She isn't sleeping nights. Oh, she's quiet, but I know she's awake. It's no wonder. She sleeps the whole blessed day. Maybe I ought to call in another doctor. It's just stubbornness, John. She's determined to prove you wrong. Mm, I suppose you're right. Maybe a sanitarium would be... Oh, really? Hello, pet. How you creep about. That's a funny thing to say, Jenny. <laughs> It isn't I who creeps. Jenny says you stay in your room too much. You don't take your exercise. You tell me to rest and take exercise. I can't do both. As though I can't see through them. Well, tomorrow's our last day here. We'll talk about exercise when I get you back to town. I'll have to rouse you out of bed pretty early, pet. Some of that furniture up there belongs downstairs. The movers will be here at night. Uh, maybe you'll sleep upstairs tonight, Jenny. So you won't be alone, darling. You won't be here tonight, John. Not till tomorrow evening. I have a difficult case at the hospital. And if you're going to feel lonesome... Oh, no, Jenny. I'll rest better alone. I'm sure of it. Thank you all the same. They think they're so clever. I won't be alone a bit. As soon as the moon shone in, the poor thing began to crawl and shake the pattern. I ran to help her. I pulled and she shook. I shook and she pulled and by morning... We peeled off yards and yards of that paper. A strip about as high as my head and half around the room. When Jenny came up in the morning, she looked at the wall in amazement. What in the world? You know what I did? You know why I did it, Jenny? Just to spite the vicious thing. Why are you so surprised? I? Oh, I'm not. Why? I wouldn't mind doing it myself. But you must. She mind. wouldn't oh, mind help. doing it. Now, why don't you come downstairs and lie down? It'll be dreary up here once they take the furniture out. Well, they can't take the bed out. It's nailed down, you know. I like it here. It'll be quiet and empty and clean. But you'll sleep downstairs tonight when John gets home. Oh, yes. Yes, when John gets home. How she betrayed herself. She wouldn't mind doing it. But I'm here and no person touches this paper but me. Locked the door and thrown the key down into the front path. I don't want anybody to come in till John gets home. I want to surprise him. And I've got a rope up here. Even Jenny doesn't know that. If the woman gets out from behind the pattern and tries to run away, I can tie her securely to one of the rings in the wall. There. There she is. See how the pattern moves? Like wallowing seaweed. How monstrous and pointless that pattern is. It'll strangle her unless I help. Wait. Wait, wait, I'll help you. I'll peel off all the paper I can standing on the floor. Now, wait. Just wait. Be patient. Yes. You push. And I'll pull. Oh, it sticks horribly to the plaster. Maybe I can get it off with my teeth. Oh. Oh, it hurts, but... I'm getting it. Wait, just a, just a little bit more. I'm getting it. Wait, a little bit more. A little bit more. I wonder if they all came out of the wallpaper as I did. 
I think they did. But I have you securely tied by my rope. You'll never get away. But I don't want to get away. It's so pleasant to be on to creep about as I please. It is pleasant. But at night you have to get back behind the pattern. That will be hard. Well, it's better than going outside. I won't go outside, even if Jenny asks me to. Or outside I have to creep on the ground where everything is green instead of yellow. And here I creep smoothly on the floor. Listen, there she is now. Darling, open the door. Why, it's John at the door. Open the door, darling. Open it, please, dear. How he does pound and shout. It's no use, Dr. John. You can't open it. Open it. Do you hear me? Open it. Jenny, bring me an axe quickly. Oh, no. He'll break down that beautiful door. John, dear, the key's down in front of the house, under a planter leaf. Please, darling. It's down by the front door, John. Open the door. For heaven's sake, open it. I can't. The key's downstairs, John. It's under a plant and leaf by the front steps. It's under a plant and leaf, John. Go and see. You'll find it if you look. There. There, he's gone to look. Now I can creep slowly, smoothly on the floor, round and round. And round, and round, and my shoulder just fits into that long smooch on the wall, so I can't lose my way. He's coming back. He's running on the stairs. How astonished he will be. My dear. Oh, my dear, what is it? What's happened? I've got out at last, John. Out? Out from... Yes. In spite of you and Jenny, I pulled down the paper. I shook the pattern and pushed and pulled it down. It stuck horribly. But you'll never, never, never put back. You're so pale, John. Why do you close your eyes? Watch how swiftly I creep in this lovely yellow room. Why should that man have fainted? But he did. And right in my path by the wall. So that I have to creep over him every time. Round and round and round and round and round. And round. Yeah. Miss Agnes Moorhead starred in The Yellow Wallpaper, adapted by Sylvia Richards from the story by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Listen. Listen again next week when we return with Alibi, another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Supporting Miss Moorhead in The Yellow Wallpaper were Ann Hunter as Jenny and Joe DeSantis as John. June 30th, 1957, Suspense on Classic Radio Theater. You gotta love Agnes Moorhead. 
I hope you come visit my webpage, classicradio.stream, where you can stream our shows on demand, learn more about classic radio collecting, and contact me there, classicradio.stream. And our shows are available anywhere podcasts are served. If you miss a day on this station, you do not have to miss a single show. Just uh, visit uh, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, any podcast app, and search USA Classic Radio Theater. Please take the time to thank this radio station and support their advertisers. They pay the bills to keep us on the air. And tell all your friends the great radio shows are right here at this spot on the dial. Classic Radio Theater on your favorite station and the USA Radio Network. The only thing better than grinding all night for your side hustle is your roommate picking you up with Mickey D's breakfast. The perfect pickup deal. There's a deal for every morning at McDonald's. Right now, taste breakfast perfection when you get a warm and savory sausage McMuffin with egg for just $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. (sighs) The only thing better than grinding all night for your side hustle is your roommate picking you up with Mickey D's breakfast. The perfect pickup deal. There's a deal for every morning at McDonald's. Right now, taste breakfast perfection when you get a warm and savory sausage McMuffin with egg for just $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal.